the target will not shoot back. They're going to be helium-filled balloons. Each pilot gets two balloons, two One passes. Who was killed in a crash was Green War veteran Dan Reagan. With the propeller, that's exactly machine no machine guns. And also honor vets right, from uh, Let's World watch War II. Now as they back out of formation, you can imagine the squadron of Roman Hellcats diving on the enemy ships in the South Pacific. But these are primary trainers. From here, you move up to the BT, multi Valiant. Practice your instrument and formation work. But yes, you can fly in zero visibility. The first three months you spent was just ground school, and then three months in one of these primary trainers. Steermans were sold to the government, about 10,000 of them during the war, for $11,000 a piece, which was serious money. Now, these balloons are going to be really swept towards the south, which is to your left. Chuck Tepet leads the Number attack. 0 to the right, 0 2 2 to the left. All right, there's the balloon. Did he get it? Chuck Tepet lines up. Yes. And gets it. That was the sound. Of wow. The <laughs> <laughs> right in five counties. There isn't any better. See how fast that balloon is going in the wind? Yes. R.J. Glitter, terrific aerobatic pilot and radio control pilot. This balloon is up, staying very low, trapped in the vortices, like I said earlier. Mom, Rick, you can do it. Woohoo! Way to go, Rick! Now you watch. Sometimes the balloon going in circles. That's from the prop wash, and gravity pulls all that down. It's gonna pop it. Come on, come on. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. You can do it. Come on. There by Joe Bender. See it going in circles? There you go. Prop wash, weight turbulence, <laughs> descends. So you never want to fly behind oh. or underneath a big it's heavy airplane. It's just a small airplane that's about to or land at our local like airport, Funkier Airport. You need to stay very clear of the weight turbulence. Chuck Look at this nice wing of them. By the way, we sell rides in these airplanes before and after every show. <laughs> Chuck Tippett lining up. He's two for two. He wins the hot dog over at Fifi's Cafe. Mr. Announcer, Mr. Announcer, is that outhouse out there and working? The outhouse is working, but don't go out there. We got a bombing run scheduled. Too bad okay. I need to use the bathroom. Alright, there is R.J. Glitter getting another balloon. Now that's low, but remember that one, two, three airplane, that's, that's Rick Kahn, it's Captain Rick Kahn, of, retired now from uh, American Airlines, Captain Kahn. Captain Retcon. Nice job there by Joe Bender. Uh, Rick Con is going to do some terrific demonstration it's aerobatics. Not as Captain Rick Con is going to give us some great aerobatics. You had to learn how to fly the maneuvers he's going to demonstrate. Okay, now a bombing run so everybody clears the field. We're going to drop three pound sacks of flour. On a designated Here comes target Chuck out there. Tepet with the first one. And you guys get off the field because the bombs will be falling. Here comes Chuck Tippett, the lead airplane. A three pound sack of flour, ready to be deployed. The boys are in the way. <laughs> he smoked one of them. <laughs> Here comes R.J. Gritter. Now R.J. Gritter closes in with his sack of flour. Long. <laughs> There's an art to that. You have to drop it before you get there. If you drop it over the target, it goes long. Wing waggles by Rick Kahn. That was right. He's practiced with that. What does 
radial engines lovely uh -oh. to hear. Not bad, RJ Grinner will be. Circus every Sunday. Flying Circus, Bealton, Virginia. Bealton Flying Circus. Here comes you Joe Bender. Sound. Every Sunday. Joe Bender, now the 